key feature of Spreadsheet Web is the ability to run a batch process. A batch process is an execution of a series of programs on a computer without manual intervention. This means that you can run a slew of inputs automatically and produce an output CSV file with the results without having to manually enter any data. As an example, we have a ratings engine that will produce HMO rates based on several key inputs, the effective date, the zip code, the SIC, and the number of eligible people. There are several tabs at the bottom. each one serving a purpose in the calculations that retrieve the outputs for the cells located in the main interface. Now we can run the spreadsheet web wizard and breeze through the conversion because the settings have already been created prior to this demonstration. Once the conversion is complete, we press finish, make sure the file saved, and once the conversion is fully complete, we can head over to the Spreadsheet Web Control Panel and sign in. Now we have to begin by uploading this application. We simply select Add an Application, give it a name, and select the file that we are uploading, i.e. the Ratings Engine file from our directories. Select a group, and then press Save. Now the file has been uploaded and turned into an application. We can open it from the list to find a web page very similar to the Excel spreadsheet without the calculation tabs. From here we can see the same five inputs that were available in the spreadsheet. We can change the values and press calculate to get the respective outputs. However, when you require testing for numerous values, creating and saving records for each individual input selection would take a horrendously long time. Therefore, Spreadsheet Web offers you the ability to run a batch process using a CSV file that has all of the potential and desired inputs. Here we have created a spreadsheet with all the desired inputs for the batch process. The column headers are designed to match with the available inputs previously described i.e. the effective date, zip code, SIC, and eligibles. This is key to the batch process because it will allow us to select the required fields appropriately. There are approximately 5,000 values that will be tested in this batch process. Now we head back to our control panel and over to the processes tab. From here we'll create a new process. We begin by giving this process a name and selecting the application from a list of available applications. This list is created based on whether the application has input fields or not. And then we select a data file, which is our CSV file that has all of the inputs that need to be tested. After we're done with this, we press next to head over to the next step. Here we correspond the input fields with their respective inputs found in the CSV file. As you remember, the first input's the name, so we select ignore for this input. Now we select the rest as the effective date, zip code, SIC, and number of eligibles respectively. Once we are done, we head over to the third step. Here we have a list of all outputs found in the application. We can select the desired outputs that will be run through the batch process and saved into an output CSV file. We want to select all of the outputs with the exception of name since we are not running the name input field. Then we press next. The fourth step is simply an overview of the batch process. Here we press save and we will be redirected to the processes tab. Our new process has been added to the list but still has not been run. To run this process we simply press the run button. It should take about 5 to 10 minutes since there are about 5,000 inputs that need to be tested. The page will automatically be refreshed keeping you updated on how far along the process is. Once it is done, you will be able to retrieve all of the information in the form of a CSV file. Simply press the download button to download the file to your hard disk. Once it is done, you can open it from Excel. Here you will find a list of all 5,000 inputs that were run through the process and the corresponding outputs. All the fields you selected will show up as columns and the individual inputs will show up in the rows. 
Running a batch process is the simplest way to test large amounts of inputs when trying to retrieve large quantities of data. Spreadsheet Web makes this process very easy and fast, allowing you to run a huge amount of inputs through the batch process in only a short period of time. This has been a demonstration of batch processing in Spreadsheet Web. For more videos outlining specific functions and features of Spreadsheet Web, please visit our YouTube channel.